Extracting otoliths Otoliths provide information on fish age and growth. Otoliths are calcium carbonate structures in the inner ear, ear bones, that the fish uses to position itself in space and perceive sounds and vibrations. Each fish has three pair of otoliths, which vary in shape and size by species. The analysis of the largest pair, the sagitta, reveals the age of the fish, which is determined by counting the clear and dark bands present on a transversal cut, much like reading the rings of a tree trunk. What equipment do you need? To extract the otoliths from a fish, you will need a large sharp knife, a cutting board or a sturdy work surface, a pair of pointed tweezers, cleaning agent, ethanol, water with a little bleach, or just water, a container that is preferably rigid, particularly for fragile otoliths, paper towel, an identification tag, and a sturdy pair of tweezers or forceps for certain fish species. OK, now you're ready! How are the otoliths extracted? Before you do anything else, place the fish on a cutting board or work surface, positioning the head on the side of your dominant hand. I'm right-handed, so I place the head of the fish close to my right hand. Using the knife, make a horizontal cut starting at the gill cover and reaching to just above the eye. It's a good idea to move away or cut the piece of flesh attached to the fish so that it does not obstruct your view. The fish cranium head is now accessible. The cranium should be open and the brain should be visible. If it is not, cut the cranium so that the brain becomes visible. Position the fish so that its ventral side faces the work surface and the dorsal side faces you. Use the back end of the tweezers to remove the fish brain. Careful, the otoliths of some species are very fragile and are removed very easily. You must be very careful to avoid damaging or losing them. At this stage, the cavities where the otoliths are located are visible at the bottom of the skull cavity on the spine side. If they are not, you can carefully insert absorbent paper into the cranial cavity to absorb the blood and tissues that are blocking your view of the otolith cavities. When the connective tissues have been removed using the tweezers, the otoliths will be clearly visible. They may be extracted with pointed tweezers. To do this, Rotate the otoliths in the cavity so that the tweezers can reach both sides of them and then extract them. In certain species, such as the snapper, the otoliths are larger and cannot be extracted directly from their cavities. This requires breaking each cavity using a sturdy pair of tweezers or forceps. Place the tweezers in the recess and use leverage on it taking care not to damage the otoliths. When the otoliths are accessible, they can be extracted using the tweezers. Last step, clean the otoliths with the cleaning agent and dry them with paper towel before placing them in a labeled container. Did you follow all that? Here's a summary of the method. Place the fish on a cutting board. Using a knife, make an incision between the gill cover and the eye. Remove the fish brain to obtain access to the cavities. If necessary, use paper towel so that you can see the cavities. Extract the otoliths using tweezers. Clean and dry the otoliths and place them in a labeled container. Join us for upcoming episodes to learn all about sampling from gonad extraction and processing.